Blue Clouds Media. My name is Niz Zion. As usual, your host for this show. Uh, do not hesitate. If you haven't liked the video, it's the first time watching me. No, do not forget subscribe for Blue Clouds TV, uh, Blue Clouds uh, channel. And you always bring the latest news and sports, transfer news, preview, a review of almost Chelsea games and some big, big games in the top six. Now, let's get it going. Premier, uh, this is uh, the preview for Chelsea and then the Bournemouth game today. Bournemouth has been a very, very big um, boogie side for Chelsea all the time. They make it very difficult for Chelsea. But is it the time for Chelsea to show what they are capable of? It's about time. It's about time to see what Chelsea can do when they play Bournemouth. Player that we'll be looking at for is Dominic Solanke. Another difficult player that makes things difficult for big teams like uh, Man City, Liverpool, and yeah, any other big team in the Premier League. But can Dominic Solanke, as we're looking at, what can you do? He's got, I think, two, three games in the Premier League, three goals in the Premier League. He's a dangerous player. Yes, he's a dangerous player. But not to forget, Chelsea are not are coming back from um, a bad spell where they lost three consecutive games before the, the uh, World Cup break. But how can Chelsea kick on? Can they come back and win this game to get their premiers? Who's for Chelsea as Rhys James is back. Kepa Risa Balaga is back. And also the uncertain career future for Edouard Mendy. Will Edouard Mendy have that patience and wait for his time? Time will tell. But how can how can Chelsea do it without the danger man Dominic Slunky? We are Obama Young is also in there. Who hasn't scored that many goals? But all depend on how the team perform. A striker perform very well when defense are good and they link up the ball towards the midfield. Then the attacker can also finish very well. But yet we also seen some chances being squandered by our attackers. Ryan Sterling, who hasn't really lived up to expectations at this moment, can he return for from a poor tournament that he had with England at the World Cup back to Chelsea and played very well? Lots of Chelsea fans have high expectations on Raheem Sterling for him to perform. Will this happen? We're yet to see. Chelsea will be, will probably be without Ingola Conte, Ben Chua, Matthew Kovacic, Wesley Fofana, and Ruben Luftos chick Ruben, Ruben, I think a little bit injury, knee. But then, can Chelsea do it with, without these players? Chelsea have enough quality to be able to play Bournemouth. They have enough players in the tank. They have enough energy and to be able to play square Bournemouth out without a doubt. Omario Hutchison, another player we, that uh, I think I feel like it's his time for him to break through. Let me know what you make or uh, what's your thoughts on uh, Omario Hutchison. I think it's uh, time for for Grant Potter to give him a chance, which is now the model of Chelsea Football Club. They invest low, get good uh, young top talent players, invest in them, and for them to flourish when they come out there. So this is going to be a short video on Chelsea. The last question is, can Chelsea win after three consecutive defeat and long injuries list? Can Chelsea do it this time? It's up to you, the viewers, to decide. Thank you all for watching this video. And when you get this video and you have never subscribed to this platform, do me a, do me a favor and do all the community Chelsea fans a favor so they can also know who this young man is. Yes. So, take a look at the video very well. Assess, can let me know what you make of this. Can Chelsea win after three consecutive defeats? in the long injury list see you again see you after the, uh, the game leo the sprandons and hang on to hope we'll see you again in the next video thank you